The question that I am always asked when I say that I operate the STEM mobile lab is what is STEM? Traditionally, STEM is an acronym that stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It is a career that uses all of those elements in harmony in order to innovate and make people's lives better. That is what the core of STEM is. So when the mobile lab rolls up to a school or appears at a special event, it is not just look at this cool science thing or check out this cool technology. It is how does it all work together in order to make someone's life better, in order to improve life on this planet, in order to really just push us one step further as a civilization using all those elements together. So a lot of the things that we focus on on the STEM lab are career-centered and are career-focused. And that extends to everything that we do here. My first experience flying a drone, I was really scared of crashing it for the first time. Like, I didn't want to just like go flying off and then go and make it hit like a wall or something. But besides that, it was, it was like pretty easy, I think. I was able to move it and stuff. The STEM Mobile Lab is accessible for K through 12 and in post-secondary. And really what that does is that it ignites that passion for learning and STEM and engineering at a much younger age. It really captures a student's imagination so that as they go through their classes, they start to focus more on STEM. By the time they get to high school, by the time they get to post-secondary, we have our new leaders in the engineers field. We have our new innovators in engineering. While on the STEM bus, Mr. Tolliver has taught us that drones and VR are in many career paths and that many people make a living off of it. And honestly, it opened up my eyes to many options. So our cornerstone module for the STEM mobile lab is called the Mission to Mars. When students board the mobile lab, they take the role of Martian explorers and astronauts that will actually journey to the surface of Mars by using the mobile lab as a vehicle. To help students do that, we've incorporated a lot of AR and VR technology uh, to bring to life this sense of actually leaving the surface of the Earth, of actually walking around on the surface of Mars uh, and collecting Martian samples and performing experiments like would typically be done in a SpaceX mission or a NASA profile. We do this by using a combination of AR and VR technology. We've had a custom app developed that runs on our iPads that students will then use to interact with different areas of the mobile app to experience what it's like to look out the window and see Olympus Mons on the horizon and the moons hanging overhead or what it would feel like to actually lift off the ground uh, on, on, a, on an actual rocket launch. It's a VR experience walking around on the surface of Mars, but it's also, how, did that, how was that programmed in the first place? How do the headsets actually work? How can I create my own? Everything has been designed with careers in mind. Working on this project has been an interesting experience. We were assigned it and given 18 school days to come up with a story, film it, edit it, and turn it in. Before we started this project, I didn't even know how to edit a video. Mr. Smallings has done a really good job of breaking down what we have to do in the classroom so we can thrive in the real world when it comes time. Honestly, this project has been a great experience and my favorite aspects were the filming and the storyboard. So working on this project, for me, this was a blessing because not only do I love videography and working with a lot of people, but this is actually what I want to do as my career. So long term, I really want to be a director, uh, whether that be on movie sets or, have, or having and owning my own production company. So directing this and working closely with Cole and other students, it was a really uh, enjoyable experience for me. And knowing that this is where I want to go, uh, I felt like it fit so perfectly.